As early as 3 in the morning, Mayor Rodrigo Duterte went to his parents' tomb at the wireless public cemetery. Duterte cried like a child, asking for guidance from his deceased parents. The former Juan Davao Governor Vicente Duterte and Mother Soledad Roa, a former teacher. Several media have witnessed Duterte crying, but the mayor said he always do this whenever he is making a major decision, especially now that he is about to begin his life as the next president of the country. According to his spokesman, unknown to many, Mayor Duterte has always been a soft-hearted man. Maraming okasyon during the campaign na talagang nakikitang uh, naluluha, uh, naiiyak, dahil sa tuwa, no? not more on uh, ano, uh, anything else. Uh, overwhelming ang support ng mga tao. Uh, for example, umuwi siya sa Danao, saan ay pinanganak ang kanyang tatay. Uh, overwhelming ang support sa kanya, napaiyak si Mayor. Maraming okasyon na umuwi siya ng late, eh. nakita niya yung kanyang mga kaklase nung elementary school siya. No? So, mga ganitong okasyon talaga it brings out his emotion. Malambot naman talaga si Mayor, uh, mabait kaya siya, ano eh, very adored no? in Davao City yung mga nakakilala sa kanya. Since the Duterte administration is inevitable, the Duterte Caetano team is now on the process of establishing its transition team. It will consist of five members from the original campaign officers. Subcommittees that will focus on important policy guidelines, inauguration and selection will also form part of the transition team. And we have expressed our appreciation and gratitude to Secretary Coloma through the interview with the PTV4. We are now preparing for the transition. Well, basically, the transition committee will make sure that uh, the president-elect has a, a staff to help him prepare for the transition. Uh, they will be able to help him identify, uh, vet, and uh, recommend or select uh, members of the cabinet and some of the important uh, appointments immediately uh, before assumption to office on 30 uh, June. Uh, part of their work also is to create the team that will review uh, all the policy statements made by the mayor and uh, Senator Alan Caetano so that these are incorporated in the first 50 days, uh, 100 days program of the government. The Transition Committee will also serve as Mayor Duterte's personal envoys to different embassies and consulates, church organizations, civil society groups, business chambers, different government agencies, PNP and AFP. Part of their work is to identify certain personalities that the mayor will ask as his personal representative because he will not have time to reach out to everyone, uh, a sort of personal envoy to visit, for example, embassies, I'm not sure how many embassies there are in Manila, 80, 90, no? uh, this cannot be done by just a person or a, we need a team no? to schedule visits to all the ambassadors or charge the affairs. Lavinia added that Malacanang should not spend a single centavo for Mayor Duterte's inauguration, expenses of which will be borne out from the excess funds of the Duterte Caetano campaign. From Davao City, for the People's Television, George Bandola.